Hey everybody, how's it going? So I'm going to uh, show you my next favorite thing that I love and it's called an executive summary. Um, I had the fortunate uh, experience to own a company that made a lot of money really quickly. The Basically, this is literally it was a container company and our first month in business, we did $67,000 in revenue. Our next month in business, 131, 171, 253, uh, 470, 800 then 200,000 because of this crazy thing that happened. Okay. And when that happens, you have to go look for money. And what I've learned about business is that it's easier to look for money when you don't need it. And if you get into executive summary mode where you can send out executive summaries to a bunch of people, you'll get invited to go pitch on stage. And when you're pitching on stage, you're not just pitching for the raising of money. Okay. It's the CEO's job. 80% of what the CEO does is raising money and they trust in their operations team to go out and grow the business and to make it just explode. And the CEO tells the story, the team just manages it and helps everything else. The CEO talks wildly about their uh, his people and the people help support the CEO back, okay? So an executive summary, I I had pitched 96 times in a, in a place where I needed money. It was extremely stressful, okay? And I pitched 96 times. Well, I pitched about 43 times. And this gentleman, I pitched 96 total. This gentleman says, Aaron, you know, I like you. So why don't you come in and I'm going to show you exactly what our family office does and how we make our decisions. I said, okay, that'd be awesome. So on Tuesday, I need you to come in at like 10 o'clock. So I get there. I'm there a little bit early. It's Tuesday. He says, okay, I'm going to show you what I do. And he had a stack of these executive summaries. So over here, this is an executive summary lab. I had a stack of them. He said, first off, before anybody pitches to us, they are notified if somebody sends us in a, in a document or something else, then one of the interns outside, they'll actually go out and they'll forward something back to him and say, hey, can you convert everything to an executive summary for review? It needs to be in this format. And it's this exact format I'm, I'm going to show you. And then what he did is he took the stack. There's about 250 of them. And he said, okay, now watch. He literally thumbed through them, pulled one out, stuck it on the table. Thumb through them, pulled one out, stuck it on the table. Thumb through them, pulled one out, stuck it on the table. Thumb through them. Pulled it out, stuck it on the table. Thumb through him. Said, yeah, I'm good. Threw him in the trash. It was four. He pulled out four out of 250 of them. Four of them, okay? Literally. So he said, okay, now let me show you on these four what I look for. And I'm like, really? You threw away all those? He said, absolutely. He says, think about it. How much time it would take for us to literally go through the whole process of listening to someone's pitch just to find out it's not within our thesis of what we invest in. I said, okay, so what did you look for? And he said, I'm going to show you. This is exactly what I look for. He said, first, what I do is I look and I see if I know any of the key partners personally. Like, do we currently work with any of the key partners right now? And that maybe we could just go out and help do a bigger deal that maybe something they don't see. And they, we'd help them do a bigger deal. And then it could help us as partners exit our money faster. He said, then I look at the key competitors. Because quite frankly, your key competitors are your best opportunity as well. Because if you can make it hurt because you're going to at them directly in the blockchain, you can make them hurt. And as you grow your territories, they're going to want to come in and, in and either buy you or partner with you or do deals like that as well. And so I look at if I know any of the key competitors, I said, okay, great. He said, then what I look at next is I look at if they have a clear understanding of what their market is and what how I would exit my money if I ended up doing this. And I got to know that the market cap is over a billion dollars or we're not even interested to begin with. I said, okay. He said, so then I want to know how big it is for the exit. I then want to know the customer acquisition costs and the long lifetime value, but I can get into that later. I just want to know about where we're at. He said, so how I put in money for their thesis and their program is he says, I do something that's called first to commit, last to put the money in. So if, a, if somebody's out there raising money and they are, uh, let's say they're, they're trying to raise $2 million and they, as they're raising $2 million, he'll commit to it and he'll say, okay, I'll do 500,000. I'll split it with whoever else go raise the other million and a half. As soon as you have it, come back to me and we will do our 500,000. And he says, and then in the next round, I actually exit the next round right away. And sometimes like people will want to stay in, but but we exit the funds that we have in, at least what we have invested, and then we're just riding on the house money in a way, right? The, not our own money portfolio. And he said, so Aaron, this is exactly what I do. And he said, one other piece of advice I'm going to give you, you have been going to a lot of angels, like a lot of angels in Utah know about my mini casa. They know that this is a deal that's out there. He said, your revenue is way far past what angel round is. And I was like, whoa, I thought, I thought it was like you went to the first round angel round and then you went to the next round and the next round and the next round. He says, no, has nothing to do with that. I want to know that I can get five times my money out in five years. That's our thesis. So if I can get five times my money out in five years, that's where I'm at. He says, but Aaron, you've done $15.5 million already in your second year. You're way past that level. You really need to be looking at VCs only. So anyways, we're going to run through that. I'm literally going to go through every single one of these steps and what you need to put on it uh, video by video. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going you're to have a PDF file that's a, it's a, a PDF download that you can literally go on, follow along, choose your colors, get everything filled out, and then you'll be able to actually submit it and we can help you as well. So go ahead and just click on the video down below when you're ready, download that PDF, and we'll go through these one by one.